And now we're talking to Raul Infantino. He's the founder of and CEO of Open Bay, uh, a new company that is uh, launching a very interesting uh, app for a vehicle repair. How are you, Rob? It's going well. Thank you very much. So can you tell us about this app that uh, sounds really interesting when I read the, the first information about it? Yes, Open Bay is, a, is an online marketplace for auto repair and uh, maintenance services for vehicles, and we're available nationwide. We have both uh, a web app and a mobile app so that consumers can access our platform. So how do you connect uh, shops with uh, drivers? So what the way it works is that uh, if any consumer has a need for auto repair or any maintenance on their vehicle, they go to our platform or, or, or uh, mobile app and they submit a service request. And then based on their location, you have local service providers responding with offers and they're binding offers so that um, they so that consumers can get an idea of what the price would be for that repair and then they can look at the provider's ratings and reviews and location and then choose the provider that's most convenient to them. Uh, and what kind of shops are they? Uh, are they uh, from the dealerships, uh, from the manufacturers or like independent shops or what are they? That's a great question. So we have three categories of providers. We have the uh, franchise dealerships, uh, independent shops, and uh, mobile mechanics that would either come to your office or home to do the repair. And mobile mechanics are really based on location. Uh, so we have them. Um, we have some of them uh, in, uh, in some of the major metros, but uh, we need to start recruiting more. Oh, that's uh, that's actually great. I, I like that uh, the part of uh, coming to my house and fixing the thing. Um, what about? I mean, how much information does the consumer has to have about the p possible problem? Because most most of the times, people th know that something is wrong in the car when the check engine light goes on, but that doesn't tell you what exactly it is. So, how much information do they need to know when they submit? Uh, I guess you call it a bid for a service. A, a service. Yeah, so um, that's a great, another great question. So uh, the, our users either come to our site knowing exactly what they need, so they'll put in a request for tires and brakes or water pump, uh, and, and those get handled pretty well. Um, for, for consumers who can articulate a problem or describe uh, some of the symptoms that they're having, like the example you just provided with a check engine light, um, we uh, you know we have a new service called Open Bay Connect, which we're just launching, and with that information, uh, with that new service rather, um, we're giving the vehicle a voice so that we can extract um, diagnostic trouble codes from the vehicle so that when your check engine light does come on, uh, we'll know exactly what the issues are, and that information is conveyed to the providers, and the providers respond with offers. So um, each time a check engine light comes on, it triggers specific um, trouble codes that we gather wirelessly from vehicles, and and, and with that information, uh, we can pretty much know exactly what the issues are and, and respond intelligently with offers. In the cases where we don't have an idea of what the issue might be, we'll ask the, the consumer to bring in their vehicle for a further analysis, yeah. and then we'll provide you a more detailed quote. Yeah, for a diagnostic. So what uh, you were referring first, does this, uh, is, this is the little uh, plug that goes into the pedal wall on the left of the steering wheel and you plug it in so are you providing the device or like are you i mean because those are like about a hundred dollars i believe right yeah we are we're providing it free of charge to consumers to select consumers uh early on so there's no charge for the device there's no charge for activation fee and there's no charge for any data fees as well so it's completely free to the consumer so it's a win-win for them and what the, the beauty is is that anytime that car does have an issue, we'll know immediately what, you know, when it happens and what the problems are. Well, it seems like a great idea, really, and, and uh, with, with this and other services that are available nowadays with all the information, it seems that we're coming uh, to the end of the era where the mechanics try to fool you, right? I mean, now you know what's wrong with the car, now you know how it costs, and now you know who is you are competing with uh, in terms of price. It's, uh, that's great. Yeah, we're empowering the user and giving the vehicle a voice, like I said. So yeah, so the, the the power pendulum shifts from the from the mechanic to the to the consumer. So is this a, like a, a direct competition with services like Triple A, where you have to pay a membership and then depending on what's going on, you have to even pay more for for the repairs? No, 
tri- I mean, AAA is more about roadside assistance and, you know, getting batteries replaced or if your car is broken down on the highway. Um, you know, we're, we're totally different. We're really one of a kind. We don't have any direct competition. Uh, I would say AAA is probably complementary to our offering. Oh, okay. Um, there's uh, other companies that provide data uh, about like the health of the vehicle fleet in the country, and I remember I think one of them is CarMD, and I think they just released uh, their annual study, and the, the regular, the average price for a repair is about around three hundred and fifty, just three, three something like that. So uh, in this case, can you do you already have any data what people are like uh, using your service for? Yeah, I mean we we um, actually have similar figures. Um, the average repair cost uh, on our platform is roughly three hundred fifty four hundred dollars. So so that that's pretty accurate. Um, with some of the tools that you that you just mentioned about uh, being able to. Uh, scan a vehicle, you know, the, the issue that we have or the issue that those consumers or those providers have is that, um, or actually vendors have, sorry, is that they can only scan the vehicle and then that's as far as they can take it. So in other words, they can provide the information to the consumer, but they can't take it any further than that. Whereas, whereas what we're doing is we're not only giving the vehicle a voice, but we're actually pre presenting solutions to the consumer so they can get their car repaired. Yeah. One of the fears that a lot of people have when they take their car to the shop, especially to the dealership, that they're coming in for something that they th think it's going to be, I mean, like, let's say the average price three fifty, and then they end up paying like fifteen hundred for like other services, quote unquote, that, that the car needed. I mean, is there a solution for that in your application? Well, that's why we started the service. Because <laughs> that very thing happened to me. Uh, oh, really? So I felt that. Yeah, yeah, it, it did, and that was the, essentially the catalyst for me starting uh, the company. I felt that um, there were too many people getting taken advantage of. So you know, we're we're trying to prevent that from happening. That's great. So, uh, what's the process for people uh, getting the app? Is it free? Where do they they, they get it, and how do they register? How much information they have to give you beforehand, and all that? Yeah, so you can go to openbay.com to register as a user. Uh, you can download our mobile app from the uh, the App Store on, on Apple. Um, you can uh, there's a form that you can fill out right on our homepage for the Open Bay Connect program. So um, yeah, there's many many different ways people can find out about us. And uh, is this the the actual service of the connection between the consumers and the shops? It's free of charge, or how do they do they pay you a fee, yeah, or how does that that that's work? Another good good question. Um, the uh, the service to consumers is completely free. Um, we get, you know, we as a company get compensated by the providers whenever a transaction occurs. So it's even free for, you know, if anyone listening to your program uh, is a, owns a shop there, it's free to join uh, on their end. And the only way we get, again, we get compensated is when we actually bring business to your shop. Excellent. We're talking to Rob Inf uh, Infantino, founder and CEO on Open Bay. Uh, well, thank you very much for all the information. This is really great, very useful, I think. And, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are going to take advantage of that uh, instead of being taken advantage of that from the shops <laughs> when they take their car, right? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, Rob. Have a great day. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.